17 it says i love those who love me and diligently seek and those who diligently seek me will surely find me amen kapatid nasan ka man naroon ngayon ano man ang pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay marami ka mang kakulangan sa iyong buhay mm-hmm. let's always seek the lord because uh, one promise of our Lord that the greatest treasure when we seek Him is His promise that we can find Him. And this weary heart, this weary souls, when we seek the Lord, we will find Him. And He will give us rest. Pangako niya po yun sa Matthew chapter Amen. 11 verse 28 to 30. Come to me all you are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Amen. Ikaw ba sis, naranasan mo na ba yung, alam mo yun, uh, uh, after our full work, full-time work sa buong linggo, yung pagod na pagod ka na and nakareceive ka pa ng message from the Philippines saying that somebody in the family member is sick and kailangan mo mag-raise ng ganitong fund. At saka pakiramdam mo yung parang ano ka na, yung uh, na-exhaust ka na, napagod ka na, at parang ayaw mo nang umattend ng mga mentorings or cell groups natin. Yet, you chose to attend and you feel like Alam mo yun, na-revive, na-revive ka after? Yes, because our work really requires physical activities. That is why we easily get tired. But when we seek the Lord, He promised us to renew our strength. Yes, because it's one of the secrets. When we seek the Lord, it infuses yes. hope in us. Magkakaroon tayo ng good vibes. And, and then yung mga gawain natin, yung cell group, yung mga mentoring, yun yung nakakapagpalakas yes. ng, ng spirit natin para tayo ay uh, makapagtrabaho with, kumbaga, with strength. Diba? Yes, because uh, it says that our, our presence or our, when we seek God, His presence give us endurance na magtuloy-tuloy lang tayo sa ating uh, buhay. And then number two is we need to wait patiently. We always says that uh, being happy is a choice. But always remember this mga kapatid that you will never be fully happy if you don't learn how to become patient. Therefore, patient is also a choice and a self-discipline too. Yes. In James chapter 1, verse 4, it says, But let patience have its perfect work so that you may be perfect and complete and lacking nothing. In NIV version, it says, Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. The word perseverance here indicates endurance and continuance. At yung bang uh, yung faith natin, hindi basta-bastang nadadivert uh, doon sa kawalan ng pag-asa despite of all uh, the greatest challenges that we are facing and really what the Lord wanted from us when we are in in the time of uh, in, in the stage of waiting is really He wanted us to have this full surrender to Him. Amen. In James chapter 5 verse 11 it says, As you know we count as blessed those who have persevered who have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about? The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. So this verse really literally states that we are counted blessed when we endure and when we persevere. Right, sis? Amen. And even in times of circumstances. And when we wait, it helps us to grow and it be- and we become uh, matured spiritually and really we cannot go wrong when we wait in the perfect time of our Lord. Amen. Amen. And number three, recall what God has done in the past. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2, it says, Remember how the Lord your God had led you all the way in the desert those 40 years to humble you and to test you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his command. Amen. Amen. We already know the story. This was now the 40th year of the Israelite coming out of Egypt in the wilderness. Since the beginning, since we know how God uh, how God protected the Israelites yes. from, from their enemies Amen. and led their way from a pillar of clouds and fire. How their needs were being provided. But during their journey, uh, the Israelites made a lot of murmuring and complaints 
just because of hunger and thirst. They already forgot how God has uh, had protected them, had blessed them for so many years. Mm -hmm. Same thing with us. Diba, mm -hmm. Sometimes we are so easily distracted yes. and our faith is easily died down just because of the challenges that we are encountering without remembering how God has blessed us in the in the past days. We are diba, we are complaining a lot. Yes. Like now we are complaining so much about restrictions, about quarantines, about financial problems. Diba? And our faith is dying down. Yes, we are yeah. becoming hopeless sometimes because of hardships in life. In this verse, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2, mga kapatid, the Lord wants us to learn three things. Number one, He wants us to remain humble. Yes. Sometimes, kasi mga kapatid, di ba, we are overwhelmed with the blessings uh, like our work, our families, and we depend so much on our own abilities yes. and strength to the point of forgetting God who is the source of everything that we are enjoying yes. and when we encounter challenges we want to solve it on our own yes. so God wants us to remove the pride in our hearts and clothe ourselves with humility and God alone will be exalted in our lives yes amen. in Psalms chapter 25 verse 9 it says, He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them His way. Number two, God wants us to know, God wants to know what is in our hearts. What is the condition of our hearts now in this time of uncertainties, in this time of pandemic? Do we question God? Are we complaining a lot? Are we becoming rebellious and becoming hopeless? The Israelites kept on murmuring and they questioned Moses in Exodus chapter 14 verse 11. They asked Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? Mga kapatid, let us search our hearts. In Psalms chapter 33 verse 18, Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him and those who hope in His steadfast love. Amen. Number three, He wants us to remain obedient to Him. Our God allowed the Israelites to travel for 40 years instead of 11 days. Can you imagine that, sis? From days to yes, decade, from 11 days, it took them to, it took them 40 years to get out of Egypt. Yes. Because our God wants to test the Israelites. If they will remain, if they will remain obedient, if they will remain faithful towards Him, both in times of prosperity and in times of struggles. The Lord wants to test their faith, patience, fear, and love. Mga kapatid, are we like the Israelites? We are only obedient, we are only praising God, we are only joyful in times of prosperity. How about in times of challenges? Maybe some of us are asking ourselves today, Bakit ang tagal-tagal ng pandemic na ito? Diba? It is almost two years or two years and it is getting uncontrollable despite of the many vaccines that we have. Ang dami nang namamatay. Ang dami nang nahihirapan. Diba? In, in this situation, God wants our total obedience Amen. and repentance. Amen. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, it says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Amen. Amen. So, to conclude, mga kapatid, I hope meron kayong nakapulutang aral sa aming uh, maikling exhortation today. So, let's always seek God's heart, wait, learn to wait patiently, and always remember what God has done in our life in the past. Amen. And remember, God is the only one who is perfectly capable and faithful to do the right thing for us in His perfect time. As we put our hope in Jesus, all anxieties, fears, and worries will leave 
Amen. We will be filled with joy Amen. knowing that our God is in control. Amen. Let us remain hopeful in God. Hold on, pray expectantly. Let's pray. Let's pray. Yes, Lord, thank you so much, oh God, for thank this you, wonderful time, for this wonderful message, you, oh Jesus. God, that we, you, that through this, Lord, we are really encouraged, oh God. Lord, help us always to remain hopeful when, whenever uh, we, we become hopeless, Lord, yes, God. in times of circumstances, in times of trials, and more so, oh God, even when we are in, ta- in the time of prosperity in our life. Amen. Lord, bless those who are... Uh, watching online yes, lord god. you know their needs oh god maybe some of them now they are hopeless lord yes, in what lord. is happening in our lives now but really lord bless them mightily oh god provide what their needs provide yes, uh, whatever lacking in their life oh god and bless this church oh god that everyone will will put our hope in you mm-hmm. father god until the day that you will come amen in jesus name amen, amen. God bless everyone. See you next Saturday. Amen. Bye. Hello. Good evening po sa ating lahat. Pasensya na po ang nagka-problema ang ating audio. At uh, uh, bago po tayo mag-umbisa, nais po muna lang ating batiin ang ating mga matisipag at mas pagigasig at maakal na po tune in ngayong gabi. And we have one from the wife, Ms. Mary Sunshine, si Piti Rael Karaan, si Sis Melanie Bimil, si Piti Edward Salazar, Sis Chosen Karaan, si Slim Tamangon, si Mary Grace Salazar, si Janeline Pitla, all the way from the Philippines, si Jaja Medrano, at ating, ang ating matipag at magandang Pastor Rachel. Good evening po, at uh, welcome po sa gabi nito sa ating prayer and life. So, ang crazy po po natin, October 30 po, ay uh, si, nakapanak na po si Agunet Robinson, at si Cesarian po, at na silang mag ay Okay po sila. Congratulations po for the healthy baby boy. Praise God po. At nakalabas na din po ng hospital ang nanay ni Swiss GP sa recovering ng plug po sa bahay. At hindi na, nagsa- hindi na nagsusuka si na Heaven and Samira Karahan. Nabawpasan na rin ang crisis si Arsa nila sa kanilang katawan. Praise God po. At praise God, spirit na din po si baby Faith. Praise God po sa kanyang ubo at sipon. Let us all greet po ng happy 42nd wedding anniversary nila 